We met in Music Week, which is this completely bonkers thing that the yeah. music department does at the beginning of each academic year, which Very is intense. your first week here, you work like a professional. There are no classes, there's no lectures, you just come to rehearse every day and have a performance at the end of the week, which is unbelievable. And Nathaniel <laughs> was in the choir and came up at one point and said, just so you know, I've never done anything like this. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm just going to give you everything, all right? <laughs> and it was like, brilliant, you are why I'm teaching. <laughs> yeah, it was challenging. <laughs> but um, I think it's good to sort of throw you out there and just do stuff that you're not used to because it builds up your confidence and whatnot. We had a pre-session conducting workshop last term. I think I mentioned it to Holly and I said I really want to know about conducting because it's, uh, it's not easily accessible learning how to conduct. I think it's a really valuable skill to learn anyone who's doing music, even if they're not interested in going on to conduct, just because it's about understanding a piece of music in its entirety. It's good to have someone like Holly who's in the profession, who knows how to do it and can show me firsthand what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. Different terminology I didn't know of, like after, I didn't know what that was until Holly <laughs> mentioned it to me. Not having a classical teacher or any teacher in fact, just constantly through my life I've had to teach stuff myself. Before I came here I was freelancing and then I realised I want to have a degree and I want to learn about classical music and now I'm here. So when I leave hopefully I just want to work in music. Whether it's be producing or whether it's uh, conducting or teaching, just go out there and just explore and see what I can, what I can really do. As performers and composers, our time in a university as a student and maybe as a staff member as well is to break it. Do the mm. worst music making you've ever done. Do the I worst. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember someone saying that to me with my conducting. Use this time to do the worst conducting you can possibly do because it's safe. Break yeah, it completely yeah. and see what happens and what actually is better once you've yeah. gotten rid of that thing you've been doing all these years. Okay, good. Good. Ladies, who's next? Sometimes I think it is the people you meet, the teachers, the other students that inspire you, and the ideas you come across. What I hope to see for a student at undergrad level going through their degree is that by the end of it they're braver and take a piece of music that they'd thought was going to be too hard and think, no, you know what, I can, I can actually do this, I'm going to sit down even if I have to learn it one finger at a time. Which I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can do this, yeah, yeah. and that is the door opening to, to being a performer, to being an artist, I think, if you have that sort of courage. I still enjoy it, so it's good. <laughs> it's yeah. a relief. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs>